continue to see more and more videos like this. We're talking about roads, homes, and farms all underwater. It could be days before some areas see any signs of relief. Our meteorologist Hayden Nix is not on the ground this morning. He's actually up above in the air getting a view of the Arkansas River. Uh, Hayden, earlier you took us um, over in the Dardanelle area where we're learning overnight a levee had breached. Absolutely right, Suzanne, and that's where we're located right now. We're working on uh, circling back here to get you a view of that levee breach, but we do have evidence to show that that uh, did breach earlier uh, in the night and uh, has continued to leak water out into farmland and to uh, pastures that uh, should not have water in it right now. It's, it's unbelievable what we're seeing from up here, and just like what the, the governor said uh, from his tour yesterday, there's a tremendous amount of damage that this water is doing to all of these uh, properties down here. We've seen a few homes that have uh, got water uh, covering the bottom side of it, uh, even up to the windows, uh, and a lot of water in the uh, pastures and, again, the farmland here. Uh, as we continue to, we're heading off towards the uh, northwest right now to where that levee has breached. It, it's a lot of water here. Just to give you a perspective of this, uh, from Monday through next Thursday, our uh, flow rate on the Arkansas River is very, very high. As a matter of fact, we're looking at in a 10-day span of almost 3 trillion, trillion with the T, gallons of water moving through. Uh, to compare that to something else, Lake Washita at its fullest capacity can hold around 919 billion gallons of water. So with the amount of water flowing through the Arkansas River just in 10 days, we could fill up Lake Washita three and a half times just about. So that's a lot of water that is having to be channeled through and it cannot stay within the banks of the Arkansas River and that's why you're seeing all this water flooding out into this area where it has to go because there's just not enough speed going down to move it. Now I think we're getting close enough here. Jaybird can kind of show you where that levee breach is. Uh, that is right there along Arkansas Highway 155 in the Hollow Bend uh, Refuge area. So this is where that levee has breached. So we're south of Dardanelle and that water is now leaking out into uh, the property of these folks here right there along the levee.